assalamu alaikum everyone so today we are again here uh so today now we are going to have a little chit chat conversation with farina's mother and we will let you know about her in more detail as you all wanted to know yeah. so let's go let's go let's go let's go Before going to watch this video, please subscribe our channel, put like and bell notification on, and uh, comment, comment down below. Da, comment down below and uh, enjoy our video. So for today's video, I will be on a little back side of the screen, and you are going to see mostly my question. Ab log zyada tar mere questions sunenge, and also you are going to. get their answers so let's start the, a little short chit chat interview what do you do i have been teaching for almost 30 years i have been teaching english and for the last 3 years i have been teaching deutsch german dutch german, german. yeah so aap logo ko jaise ki nahi pata ki parina ki mother टीचर है इंग्लिश टीचर और अब वो साथ साथ जर्मन भी टीच कर रही हैं नाउ यू आर आल्सो टीचिंग जर्मन द सो द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट एवरीवन वांट टू नो दैट हाउ वाज योर रिएक्शन व्हेन पलिना टोल्ड यू फर्स्ट टाइम अबाउट मी द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम आई वाज नॉट वेरी सीरियस अबाउट योर योर रिलेशनशिप्स आई थॉट मे बी दे विल कम्युनिकेट फॉर अ वाइल for a month or two it will be an inter- interesting experience as, as she will practice english which will be good for her and that is all but uh, then with the time being it turned out that she was going to come to pakistan i was afraid of this journey she has never flew Low. what was your thinking about that she is going to pakistan and what do you know about pakistan before i have never thought of pakistan at all before i knew you i have never had in any idea i know i knew that it, it is somewhere in asia somewhere near india and that is all nothing else Russia doesn't have any uh, big connections with Pakistan. There are no Pakistani people in Krasnoyarsk. I have never met any before. I am t- I think I am the only one in Krasnoyarsk Pakistani. No, I don't so I have never had any interests to learn more so I just very general very very general I even did not have an idea of the size of this country. So uh after you knew that i am from pakistan and pakistan existence of pakistan everything and that you didn't search on our internet or about pakistan or anything like this uh of course i turned my attention to this country i surfed in the internet of course learned some facts and i really liked your premier prime minister <laughs> such a handsome man which prime minister now it's changed so you should clarify imran khan I- imran khan yeah, like so one new fan of imran khan i was more interested in the nature of pakistan in the climate because i i don't know maybe it is uh more uh more important for people to live there to know the climate i have also a question and people also have the same thing that when palina wanted to go to pakistan to meet me and to get married so everyone was against it almost uh almost everyone like grandmothers and Uh, her friends and her teachers and everyone was saying to Palina that don't go they are going to do this this they are bad and things like this why you started to support it somebody had to support you but what was in your mind that why you just become fearless and started to uh, support her or something 
there are some reasons. One of the reasons is I wanted her to be happy. And uh, when I saw that she is happy, that she is always communicating with you, and she can't live without you, of course I wanted to support you. But what if I would be a terrorist or something? <laughs> Maybe my heart told me that everything will be okay. Uh, I have uh, some the sixth feeling, maybe the intuition mm -hmm. that you are a good guy. Uh, I believed my daughter. I trusted her when she said that he is good. Also, I talked to her to you several times, and I felt that you are okay. The only thing I was afraid that how she is going to have such a long journey by plane. So far, she will be alone, she will be very tired. Uh, there will be two stops. Uh, who will care about her? Uh, maybe she, uh, she will fall asleep and miss her flight. As you know that there is like uh, almost two flights have to be changed from Krasnoyarsk to Pakistan. Would you like to come to Pakistan someday? It's <laughs> not alone. I'm waiting for the direct flight from Krasnoyarsk. And I don't think it is going to Pakistan. happen soon. <laughs> I think it will. I am almost sure that it will happen in some years, maybe in two or three years, because Krasnoyarsk is going to have an international hub and will have flights to different countries direct, mm. because uh, it is going to become one of the biggest centers of Russia. Then at least one flight need to be changed in any way. Yes, but not two and not you are not uh, going to fly around the earth. <laughs> what about if in some time um, a road trip of me and Palina will plan a road trip to Pakistan? Road Would you like to join us? You mean by car? By, by train trains, or something by like horses, by camels? <laughs> <laughs> no, just for example, by train from here to, for example, Azerbaijan, Iran, and Pakistan, or from here to China and Pakistan. I'm afraid I'm not. I am not a tra um, travel holic. Travel holic, not a person uh, who can live alone a lot, long time without comfort. <laughs> And climate also is important. I can't bear the heat. Mm. I have headaches. Then definitely you cannot visit Pakistan in summers. Only in winter. You can visit Pakistan in winter, but you will not be able to see the mountain area. Why not? Because it's mostly the roads are blocked <laughs> because mm -hmm. of snow. And can you tell me that what interesting facts that you heard or you learned about Pakistan? <clears throat> I think you have told me a lot of facts mm. about Pakistan, about uh, different people. But what are um, your for the most interesting for you that you like the most about Pakistan? Maybe that uh, there are so many people, more than 270 million people live in Pakistan and uh, uh, there are lots of good factories there who, which can produce very quality but cheap clothes. <laughs> uh, what else about Pakistan? Imran Khan. <laughs> <laughs> Imran Khan on the first place, cheap and quality clothes on the second, a strong army in the third. And what about the beauty? Did you the saw the beauty of the mountains? Of course, yes. Did you saw uh, my and Palina's journey on uh, the trip to the north? And we made some videos on YouTube. Definitely, you saw. Of course. How was your uh, how to say? your reaction on these videos when we was like traveling like walking <laughs> by walk or by taking lift or something 
I think it was a sort of dangerous experience for you. Very many different people you met on your way. Some supported you, some made you some difficulties. Hmm. And you had almost, you had very little money uh, during the trip. But you survived. Actually, I was, I was impressed by this fact that you could start the trip. You had uh, maybe two weeks hmm. trip. It's about, almost more than three weeks. No, three twenty-five weeks. days. Mm. Even twenty-five mm. days uh, in different districts of Pakistan. Now a little serious question that. I've almost every Pakistani wanted to know that uh, what is the situation of Russia right now and because of the war they think that it's very difficult for people to live here now because of the sanctions and uh, the companies left away and there's no banking system and things like this. I think it is very different for, for different people. Some people really lost their jobs. For example, I know a woman, uh, she was an interpreter in a business company, and now she was lost. She was quit. She was resigned. Mm -hmm. And uh, she lost her job. She has to find a less paid job now. Hmm. And of course, it is very sad for her. But in most cases, people either don't have any consequences or even have uh, some advantages of the situation. Serious question. People was asking that, what was your reaction when Palina said you that she accepted Islam and things? I, um, I hope that people from Pakistan understand that uh, there are different people with different attitudes to the re religion. As for me, I am not a religious person. I have my own beliefs, but it is not about uh, just re the religion, Christian or Orthodox or Islam. No, it is my attitude to this topic is that a little bit different. And that's why I accept Paulina's choice as, a, how to say, as a, her way to understand the world. Yeah. Now she is trying to understand it in such a way. Even her clothes, which is not very usual in Russia. <laughs> For me, it's okay. But in Krasnoyarsk, it's uh, almost usual. In Russia and in Krasnysk, actually many women were... I think that we also didn't know, Palina also didn't notice, but now as she's using hijab, when we going out, we saw a lot of people who are wearing hijab, maybe because of only this, that she is now Muslim, she is now noticing other Muslim. Uh, I wouldn't say that very many, hmm. very many women, but... There are some people who are were, who wearing hijabs and nobody actually point on them. Nobody the. shows uh, with their fingers on these people. Just we accept any culture. You know, we, me and Padina, we was also very scared for this, that how people will react on the religion's point of view, her hijab and things, because we was thinking that there is almost no Muslims in the city. Yeah. But now Paulina meets such people uh, almost every day. Every day, many. Her show. So, so let's meet in the next video and hope you have liked uh, and you got the information that you wanted to know. If you want to know something more or you want us to make some specific kind of video, you can comment down below and uh, we hope that you will like put a like and subscribe and bell notification button on and so until next video take care of yourself and allah hafiz allah bye hafiz. bye let's go